This book is called More, 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 said the baby. The story and the artwork were done by Vera B. Williams. This book was awarded a Caldecott Honor uh, Citation. That means people love the artwork. The artwork was done with a technique called gouache. How is it different from watercolors? Chapman University in Orange County, California has a very interesting little article to help you understand that difference. If you're really interested in watercolors and gouache and painting techniques, you can look that up easily. This page shows you a little photograph of Vera B. Williams with a big smile on her face. She was a beloved artist who came from the West Coast and uh, grew up and worked on the East Coast as a person making children's books and books for young readers. Uh, her most famous book is probably My Mother's Chair. She won the Caldecott Award for that. Uh, and she dedicated her life to telling simple stories about uh, simple families, everyday people. More, 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 said the baby, comes in three stories. The first story is called Little Guy. This is Little Guy. Little Guy runs away so fast. Little Guy's daddy has to run like anything just to catch that baby up. But Little Guy's daddy catches that baby up all right. He throws that baby high and swings that baby all around. Oh, you're a great little guy. Little Guy's daddy sings to Little Guy. Just look at you with your perfect little belly button. Right in the middle, right in the middle, right in the middle of your fat little belly. Then Little Guy's daddy brings that baby right up close and gives that Little Guy's belly a kiss right in the middle of the belly button. More! Last Little Guy. More, more, more. Story number two, Little Pumpkin. Now this is Little Pumpkin. Little Pumpkin scoots away so fast. Little Pumpkin's grandma has to run like anything just to catch that baby up. But Little Pumpkin's grandma catches that baby up all right. She holds that baby nose to nose and swings that baby all around. Oh, my best little grandbaby, Little Pumpkin's grandma sings to Little Pumpkin. Just look at you with your tiny little toes. Right on the ends, right on the ends, right on the ends of your two little feet. Good enough to eat. Then Little Pumpkin's grandma brings that baby right up close and tastes each of Little Pumpkin's toes. More, <laughs> laughs Little Pumpkin. More, more, more. Story number three, Little Bird. Now comes Little Bird. Little Bird falls asleep so fast. Little Bird's mama has to move like anything just to catch that baby up. <laughs> but Little Bird's mama lifts that baby in her arms all right. She rocks that baby back and forth and gets that baby ready for bed. Oh, my best little baby, Little Bird's mama sings to Little Bird. Just look at you with your two closed eyes. Right on either side, right on either side, right on either side of your neat little nose. Then Little Bird's mama brings that baby right up close. She gives that little bird a kiss right on each of her little eyes. Mm -hmm. Breathes Little Bird. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you know a baby who likes to run away and some grown-up has to catch that baby up and tease that baby and the baby asks for more, more, more? If you do, maybe you can write a fourth story, your own story, about one adult and one baby. And that's the end of More, 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 Said the Baby by Vera B. Williams.